अंडरस्टैंड नेचर ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू थिंग्स और टू सेट्स ऑफ डेटा वी अप्लाई को रिलेशन अ वेरी सिंपल वे टू एक्सप्लेन दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ डार्क क्लाउड्स एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ रेन सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू हैव अ को रिलेशन बिटवीन डार्क क्लाउड्स एंड द रेन बट आई कैन नॉट हैव अ को रिलेशन बिटवीन लेट से द क्लाउड्स एंड द मार्क्स यू ऑप्टेन इन द एग्जामिनेशन विच कैन बी स्टैटिस्टिकली फाउंड आउट बाय एनी स्टैटिस्टिकल सॉफ्टवेयर बट प्रैक्टिकली देर इज नो को रिलेशन नाउ वट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर इज वेन वी आर फॉलोइंग द को रिलेशन वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज इंटर डिपेंडेंस और रिलेशनशिप दैट एग्जिस्ट बिटवीन two sets of values and how we understand this relationship there can be three ways under which we can understand this relationship the first is as the input increases the output would increase the second is when the input increases the output can decrease and the third is it is independent of the input the output is independent of the input so in the first case when i say input increases and output increases we say it is a positive correlation when i say my input increases but my output is decreasing it is a negative correlation and when i say the output is independent of the input there is no correlation so those are the three things that you need to understand now correlation is expressed from minus 1 to 0 to plus 1 any value which is zero indicates there is no relationship no correlation between the two variables a value of plus 1 indicates a perfect positive correlation so you would have a straight line graph that can be represented a value of minus 1 represents a perfect negative correlation a straight line declining so if my input is increasing the output would decrease but it is a perfectly negative correlation and any value between 0 to 1 would be a correlation value but the values less than 0.5 towards 0 would be weak correlation and values between 0.5 to 1 would be strong correlation similarly values between 0 to minus 0.5 would be weak correlation and minus 0.5 to minus 1 would be strong correlation so let me just cite an example 0.8 So point eight is a strong positive correlation. However, if I say minus point seven, this is a strong negative correlation since it's a minus sign. So that's a broad idea to understand correlation. Now, again, important to understand when I plot the correlation, all of the values could be closer to the central line. If the values are closer to the center, I say it is a strong correlation. However, if the values are much more dispersed from the center, so this is my center line, and the values are more dispersed, I say this is moderately correlated. However, in this case where I have the straight line here, and the values are very very close to the straight line, I say it is a strong correlation. Also, when there is more scattering of data the data is more scattered the correlation becomes weak if the data is more clustered it would have a stronger correlation that would exist so how do we find out the correlation there are numerous methods to find out correlation in this section we would understand one very simple method and that is spearman's rank correlation named as spearman's rank correlation devised by spearman and the idea is to find the correlation by ranking so how do we do that i have two sets of numbers which are there first we need to rank the numbers and when we are ranking the numbers the highest value would be ranked the highest so i have the values for x and y so first take x the values are 50 40 15 18 and 20 so 15 becomes the first rank 18 becomes the second rank 20 becomes the third rank 40 becomes the fifth rank and 50 becomes the fifth rank okay now the other set of values are 15 50 8 26 45 and 14 here 14 becomes the first rank 15 becomes the second rank 26 becomes the third rank 45 becomes the uh, fourth rank and 58 becomes the fifth rank now i have written the ranks what i do is i take the difference of the ranks so in this case it is 5 minus 2 which is 3 then 4 minus 5 minus 1 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 
2 minus 4 which is minus 2 and 3 minus 1 which is 2. I squared the differences. So it is 9, 1, 4, 4, 4. So 4, 4, 4, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 plus 9 is uh, 22. So I have summation of d squared, the difference between the two sets of rank, the square of those and the summation of those turns out to be 20. Now I apply the formula. The Spearman's rank order correlation is represented by the sign rho. Now this rho or the correlation is 1 minus what? 6 multiplied by 22 which is the summation of d square, summation of the difference squares and n is the number of pairs. So how many number of pairs? 5. So 5 into 5 square minus 1. So I have 1 minus 6 into 22 divided by 5 into 24 and I solve this and I get the value for the row which is my correlation here. Now as we know the values of the correlation would lie always between plus 1 to minus 1 and based on what we have understood in the introduction we would have the ranking that would be obtained. Also, the method is very very applicative because what we are doing is we are not taking the exact values. We are just ranking the values and finding the difference between the ranks. Once we find the difference between the rank, we square those differences and multiply it by 6 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we have number of units multiplied by square of the number of units minus 1. And this whole value is subtracted from 1. And that's what we have as the rank correlation given by Spearman. Very very simple, very very direct method of finding out the relationship between two sets of data. So set x and set y, we understand the relationship between the two sets of data here. Thank you.